In this video, I will explain you the usage of increment and decrement operators in C++. By the end of this video, you should be able to effectively use these operators in your C++ programs. Let's get started. Increment and decrement operators are used to increase or decrease the value of operand by 1. Plus plus operator is called an increment operator which is used to increase the value of operand by 1. This means if the value of variable count is 10 after plus plus count or count plus plus new value of count will be 11. Note that plus plus can be prefix or postfix depending on whether it is used before the operand or after the operand. Minus minus operator is called decrement operator which will be used to decrease the value of operand by 1. This means if the value of variable count is 10 then using minus minus count or count minus minus will decrease the value of count by 1. The new value of count will be 9. Here also minus minus operator can be prefix or postfix. Plus plus and minus minus operators are called unary operators since it needs only one operand. I have opened Visual Studio code and created a new CPP file. I will declare a variable named count and assign value 10 to it. Int count equals to 10 followed by semicolon. I will now perform increment operation on count using plus plus increment operator. In order to do that, I will go to the next line and type count plus plus followed by semicolon. Count plus plus should increment the value of count by 1. I will make use of cout statement to display the value of count. I will type cout value of count after count plus plus is count ending the statement with semicolon. I will save and run the program. If you see here, this program displayed value of count as 11. Count plus plus incremented value of count by 1. Count plus plus is same as count equals to count plus 1. This way of using plus plus is called postfix since plus plus appears after the operand. Now let's try prefix. I will update this statement. I will change it to plus plus count. I will update this cout text as well. I will save and run the program. If you see here, value of count is displayed as 11. Plus plus count incremented the value of count by 1. Plus plus count is same as count plus plus. Now let's try decrement operator. I will update this line to count minus minus and update the cout text as well. Using count minus minus should decrement the value of count by 1. New value of variable count should be 9. I will save and run the program. This cout statement displayed value of count as 9. Count minus minus is same as count equals to count minus 1. Now let's try the prefix version of decrement operator. I will go to this line and update it to minus minus count. I will update this cout text as well. I will save the program and run the code. If you see here, this program displayed value of count as 9. This means count minus minus is same as minus minus count. If you are finding value in this video, could you please click on like and subscribe button. Let's try one more thing. I will delete these two lines of code. Please pay attention. This is very important for you to understand. If you understand this, it will be very easy for you to understand the code that makes use of increment and decrement operators. I will declare another int variable named total and assign value 0 to it. Int total equals to 0 followed by semicolon. In the next line, I will type total equals to count plus plus followed by semicolon. What do you think value of total should be after the execution of this statement? Should it be 11? Let's find it out. I will write a cout statement to display value of total and count. I will go to the next line and type cout value of total is total ending the statement with semicolon and in the next line cout value of count is count ending the statement with semicolon. I will save and run the program. If you see here value of total got displayed as 10. It should have been 11 right? Let me explain you. Increment and decrement operators works little different when we use it along with an assignment operator. If you remember, I had mentioned that increment operator increases the value of obtained by 1. This still holds true. If you see here, the value of count got displayed as 11. Now the question arises, why value of total and value of count is different? During the execution of the statement, total equals to count plus plus, the program will first assign value of count to total and then it will perform count plus plus increment operation. That is, 
value of total is first set to 10 and then the value of count is incremented by 1. So value of count becomes 11. If I run the code, value 10 for total and value 11 for count will be displayed on the output screen. Now let's try another variant of plus plus increment operator. I will comment this line and go to the next line and type total equals to plus plus count. In this case, since plus plus appears before the variable count, value of count is incremented first and then the value of count is assigned to the variable total. After the execution of this statement, value of total should be 11 and value of count should also be 11. I will save and run the program. If you see here, this program displayed the value of count and total as expected. This same principle applies to minus minus decrement operator as well. Try it out and let me know in the comment section. If you are still here, could you please support this channel by clicking on the like and subscribe button? Let's summarize what you have learned in this video. Increment operator plus plus is used to increment the value of obtained by 1. Decrement operator minus minus is used to decrease the value of obtained by 1. In the statement, total equals to count plus plus, value of count is first assigned to the variable total and then count is incremented by 1. In the statement, total equals to plus plus count, the value of count is first incremented by 1 and then the updated value of count is assigned to the variable total. This is all you need to learn about increment and decrement operators in C++.